The border patrol has been in position since early morning, <laughs> trying to discourage asylum seekers from taking the leap. Instead, in a matter of minutes, two women, five teenagers and three children had touched U.S. soil and quietly surrendered to the guards, who seemed preoccupied with the presence of journalists operating on the Mexico side, at times using a threatening tone. But some people say that reporters are helping them climb the fence, so I'm just telling you it's against the law. That's all I'll say. But also coming under pressure from American citizens. Do not separate children from their parents. One Guatemalan girl died last week in Border Patrol care. With each day that passes, more asylum seekers are crossing illegally into the U.S. It's a scene that happens in many spots along Mexico's northern border. Just a few days ago, we witnessed several people crossing from this exact point. In the meantime, a second layer was added to the wall and it's nearly double the height, making it more difficult to scale and riskier to jump off on the U.S. side. But a few kilometers away, it's still possible. And it follows a pattern. Get over the wall, then look for the border patrol to take you away. Irma explains that months in custody in the U.S. is better than one day back at home in El Salvador and safer. She has already done this once before in June and was deported back to her country. She fled again under threat and now hopes to be accepted as a refugee. This time she is with eight months pregnant Evelyn, who wants to get to America before the baby is due. Being born American will give the baby opportunities she never got in life. It's a practice that President Trump wants to put an end to. Honestly, I'm not afraid now, but I might get nervous at that very moment. Now, I'm calm. For a brief moment, the two sides stare at each other. And off they go. There's a little hesitation. A sense of urgency. Evelyn's father is worried about her. Come on, darling, you can make it, he says. Done. It looks like she's not feeling too well. She either hurt herself while getting over that wall, or maybe it was just too much stress for her pregnancy. We don't know, but Evelyn is taken away. The rest are questioned. They will spend the night in custody, one of the rare times where detention represents the possibility of a new life. Hud Abdelhamid, Al Jazeera, along Mexico's northern border.